First, it is important to understand that a stroke is damage to the brain that is caused by a lack of blood flow. And depending on the location of the brain that this is occurring, different signs or symptoms will occur. For example, people can have weakness or lost control of different parts of their body, arm, leg, face. This is almost always on one side of the body, not on both. Other signs or symptoms include difficulty speaking, difficulty understanding, which may come across as confusion, or difficulty swallowing. The most important thing that I can communicate to you today is, before we talk about prevention, if you have one of these signs or symptoms, it's important to get to the emergency room right away. There are treatments today that are available that uh, break up clots in the brain. This is the most common cause of a stroke, and the earlier you get there, the better the outcome, the less problems down the road that you have. So if you want to talk about preventing the symptoms down the road, it's important to get to the emergency room and get treatment right away. That said, there are things that you can do to help prevent a stroke occurring in the first place, and that includes controlling your blood pressure. If you have high blood pressure, it's really important to take your medications. Cholesterol. Cholesterol is a known cause of damage to the blood vessels, and so keeping that under control is important. Smoking. Smoking, not only, of course, does it cause lots of problems with cancer, but it damages blood vessels, and it does lead to problems with stroke. Diabetes is another disease where there is damage to blood vessels, and it is well known that if you control your blood sugars, and that can help reduce the damage to the blood vessels. Those are the things that we uh, have control over. If you already have disease of the blood vessels, um, there are certain medications that, if, if you will, keep the blood thin and can help uh, prevent a stroke from coming. Aspirin is the most commonly known medication that does this. As I've already mentioned, there are a number of different types of stroke presentations. And again, depending on the location where the brain is damaged, you will have different symptoms, such as weakness in the leg, weakness in the arm, and the therapy will be focused or customized to meet the needs of that particular patient. So if you have weakness in the leg and you're having difficulty walking, a physical therapist will work with you on trying to get that leg stronger. If you have weakness in the arm and it's causing you to have difficulty with getting dressed or bathing, then you will benefit from occupational therapy. And if that weakness is occurring in your throat, you may have difficulty swallowing or speaking, and speech therapy can help you with that.